Phantom Fixer here with you again. And today I'm going to unbox and take a quick look at the Iwata Eclipse HPCS airbrush I just picked up. I had some issues yesterday when I was base coating some of my Signar models and uh, my Renegade Chrome decided to just go nuts on me again. If you follow the blog, you know I had an issue with the bent needle on that thing. Now the bent needle was my fault. There's something with the seals on that chrome. It's just, it's not acting right. So I decided I was gonna get me an Iwata Eclipse. You can actually get these over at Hobby Lobby. They're in the $200 range, but if you get that 40% off coupon that Hobby Lobby always gives out, you get quite a deal. So it actually puts it into the realm of not too bad. I think I walked out for 125. So, and that's cheaper than Amazon. So anyway, let's get to it. Little slip case. I guess it comes with the airbrush, some lube. I want a pistol grip filter, so it might make it easier to hang, hang on to. So yeah, let's take a look. Uh, I want a yay. <clears throat> uh, Kenny Buffy swears by these things. Uh, some of my model railroad guys swear by them. So figured, what the hell, give it a try. I've always been a badger airbrush guy, but man, what the heck? Gotta try something new now and then. So. Let's take a look at what we get. Okay, we get a bumper sticker. Hey, you can't beat that. Okay, so, little wrench so that you can do wrenchy things. And here's the beast itself. If I can get it out of here. Okay. So, there it is. All its glory. HPCS, made in Japan. So, very nice finish. Very nice and chrome, nickel, whatever you call it, I don't know. Looks like it has a regular 1 8 screw tip, which is good. It's got a cup end to it. I like the prong ends myself, the crown caps, but what the hell. It's got a nice big cup. Yeah, that fits on pretty well. Wow, that's really tight. That'll actually stay on. That's nice. That's something you don't always see. It's got a pretty smooth action. Not a lot of push on the air, very little uh, very little depth on the air control, but we'll have to see how it works when we get it hooked up to some air. So, looks nice. One thing that's nice about these cup ends is you don't have to worry so much about knocking off the, uh, hurting the needle like I did. Of course, what I did was one in a million shot. What else do we have in here? Whoops. Ah, uh, three bottle of airbrush colors. Hey, red, blue, and yellow. Aren't those something like primary colors or something? I'm not sure. Eh, whatever. Medea airbrush cleaner. Always a good thing to have. Here's that pistol grip filter thing. Attached directly to the airbrush. Yeah, okay. We're now probably going to just jump in. Hey, congratulations on your genuine Iwata. And a little thing of super lube. One of the biggest things, one of the biggest mistakes you can make with an airbrush is over lubing it or getting lube where you don't want it. Uh, you always want to be careful when you're putting this stuff on there. I mean a drop will do so honestly a thing like that will probably last a year or so. So anywho that's what we have in the box. Airbrush, wrench, the super lube, the filter, cleaning solution, and three primary colors. So so anyway, I'm going to switch over to the painting desk and get this thing hooked up to air and put some milk in it and uh, see how it sprays. So give me a second and I'll be right back with you. Okay, here we are back at the paint station. And I heard some of you laughing when I said I was going to run some milk through it. But what are you always told when you read about airbrushing or you see a video about airbrushing? Your paint should be the consistency of skim milk. So I like to test airbrushes with, guess what, skim milk. It kind of gives me, it. you can practice your skills quite a bit with the skim milk and a piece of cardboard so that you can see the pattern that you make. The, the bad part about it is, is it doesn't show up real well on camera. So I'm going to try to shoot with two different cameras and see if it comes out. If not, I'm going to switch over to another great thing to test airbrushes on cardboard with is the airbrush cleaner itself. It's kind of a, uh, I don't know if it's alcohol based or what it's based, but 
it seems to show up better than just shooting water. So I have my compressor set at 20 PSI, 1.5 bar. So let's give her a shake down and see what it does. So see if it has a big pattern. Yeah. It's got a nice, good spray pattern. It seems very, very consistent. It draws a good line. Now, yeah, you can get a very, pretty fine line with it. Yeah, you can deal with that. It's pretty good. At this range, it shoots a nice straight line. Well, straight, st a steady line. Okay, well, it seems to shoot the milk. Get that out of there. Now I'm going to put some of the cleaner through it. Hopefully I can get to where you guys can see what the line looks like. Yeah, I think I got my cardboard too wet already, so it does a pretty decent line, and it does a very good fine line. I'm relatively impressed. I'm not sure if you guys can see it or not, but it's making a nice fine line, even at this distance, and Doing like this, I could definitely write my name in cursive, so. Definitely got to give this one a thumbs up. I like the way it sprays. I like the way it shoots. So overall, I would have to say the Iwata Eclipse HPCS. Pretty good, pretty good brush. Uh, I like it. It will give me a nice fine line. It's not a SOTAR fine line, but it's uh, definitely good enough for miniature work, and it's got a nice fine, plus you can pull back and do some serious coverage. So I think it's gonna be a I think it's gonna be a good good one to have in the stable. So I uh, definitely would recommend it so far. I'll let you know how it works after I play with it some more. But for right now, I like it. It's good. So that was my unboxing and initial review. Thanks guys. Take care and we'll see you later.